Hi, I'm John Holden, and welcome to Earth. We're starting off our show here along the coastline of Bali, Indonesia. You know, our ocean waters are in deep trouble because of plastic pollution, and nowhere is that more evident than here along Bali's beaches. But this is also ground zero for a tide-turning recycling program that's not only helping clean up our ocean waters, but helping an impoverished community have a better standard of living at the same time. How is that possible? Let's take a look. Our global oceans are the lifeblood of this good earth and sanctuary to an abundance of sea life. But our ocean waters are at risk from an estimated 8 million tons of plastic that enters these waters each year. No one knows the health risk facing our oceans and planet better than Fisk Johnson. Yeah, I mean, as you can see around me on this beach, you know, the plastic waste accumulating here, I mean, it's, it's heartbreaking to see it. Um, literally 15 billion pounds of plastic get poured into the ocean every year. Well, I've been diving all over the world for 45 years. And, you know, as time has gone on, I've seen this problem get worse and worse. Um, I have been on beaches where you can't even see the sand on the beach because it's just literally completely covered with plastic trash. I mean, it's incredibly heartbreaking to see that. Now, many will talk about the need to clean our ocean waters, but Fisk is in the unique position of power and partnership to actually do something about it. Fisk is also the chairman and CEO of SC Johnson, a global powerhouse of household cleaning products we all use. A family company with more than 65 brands, with a long-term commitment to the environment and a promise to clean our oceans and waterways. Our family and our company has had a very long history of environmental responsibility, ranging from you know reducing our carbon footprint around the world to uh, focusing on greener and greener chemistry that goes into our products. Uh, to issues like plastic waste, uh, which is one of our biggest environmental issues. So how do you go about tackling the problem of plastic polluting our ocean waters? You start at its source and the communities where plastic first enters the water, like here in Bali. More than 80% of ocean plastic comes from Asia. 20% of that is from Indonesia and beaches like this in Bali. But this is also where Fisk hopes that plastic pollution can be stopped while helping impoverished people at the same time. Plastic Bank uh, is really doing a wonderful thing because they are collecting plastic before it has a chance to get into the ocean. And not only does Plastic Bank have that environmental benefit, but it also has a social benefit because it helps bring people out of poverty because it allows them to get paid for collecting plastic and they have an opportunity to make more money than they have in the past. With partnership with SC Johnson, we are working together to create eight collection center facility in Bali where anyone can bring their plastic into our collection center and getting value out of the plastic. Once they go to a plastic bank, they now realize I'm saving the planet. I'm not only having money for my life, but I'm also saving the planet. That increased their dignity. The plastic bank program is designed to educate the locals about using plastic responsibly, as well as the benefits of recycling. Each bag of plastic trash becomes a new source of income when it's turned in at one of the plastic bank recycling centers in Bali, where it's exchanged for digital currency that can be used in the marketplace. So what we saw is the collectors that coming here every day, every morning to pick up plastic, and then after that they will sell it so they can have, a, they can have food and their basic needs in life. And the impact is felt not just here near the plastic bank, but throughout Bali as well thanks to mobile units from the plastic bank that cover the entire community. So the idea of this mobile collection center unit is this mobile will go anywhere in community center, in public spaces, everywhere where we have a crowd to start to engaging people, start educate them what can they do with their plastic and how much valuable is the plastic 
and then we can collect the plastic from them. It's all about working together to solve the root cause of plastic pollution in our planet's oceans, something that Fisk Johnson says can benefit global business as well as its people. My hope is that we can solve this issue and others for the benefit of our children and our children's children. You know, I want my daughter to grow up in, you know, the beautiful world and environment that I had the opportunity to grow up in. And I think it's critical that all of us here today work hard to solve all the big global issues that we face to create a better world for our children tomorrow. You know, the tide is turning on this new movement from keeping plastic like this from becoming waste. And it's starting right here on the beaches of Bali, where the new plastic economy is changing lives.